Anyway, funny. if you're looking for the boss, he's upstairs with the with some other people. Well, I'm I'm sure he'll come down eventually. Who are you? I'm Kazia. Well, that is the complete introduction that he has. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Everyone was waiting for that one. I we know, were. right? Oh, I telegraphed that beautifully. <laughs> well, anyway, they're totally busy looking at the maze. Stop. Get over it. I was sent here. I'm on a mission. <laughs> No, I can't tell you what the mission is. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right, you twisted my arm. I've got a mission, arm. too. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, are you are you the only one here? Is Are you one of the maids? At that precise moment, Mia ducks out from the cupboard and grabs some food, then goes right back in. No! <laughs> that is... Well, well she's the only you. maid here who isn't over. Oh, really? No, I'm not a maid. I'm the I cook. Well, not with that kind of attitude. You'll never be a maid. <laughs> so now he's a maid critic as well. Oh, he'll he'll criticize everything. <laughs> he's pretty critical, yeah. He's got a At whole point, subsection he, uh, of his he blog. He sweeps his hair out of his face. He beavers so anyway. It. We're on a mission. Okay. What have is your you mission? Seen, have you seen this girl? At which point he holds out a photo of his target. You wouldn't have, no. No. Not sure why I was sent here then. Fumahiro starts looking around for somebody else. <laughs> Why are you looking for this girl? Oh, you know. It's a mission. I don't know. That seems kind of sketchy. What? You, gotta, you don't have uh, people coming in here with pictures of, oh, what is she, 16-year-old girls waving them around asking where she is? Well, Sometimes we call the cops. <laughs> uh, let's let's not do that. Really don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, anyway, the the big boss he, he he wants me to find this girl. I think you should help me find this girl. Who else is here that can help me find this girl? The cops. Uh, well, there's there's the grizzled cop guy. There's the one-eyed big sis and Sakuraba. I see, I see. And where and are they the now? And the chief Ogata. He's, they're all up talking to him. Well, wouldn't want to be rude and interrupt. Are they coming down soon? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, I'm going to wait over at this table. Uh, how about you get me a coffee? Floating over. We're all right behind the door because we don't want to step in because our encroach would trigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we just talk to each other from like through the wall? I'll I'll call him on the phone. But I won't say I anything. Buy, the scene. I won't say I anything. Buy a phone. He'll just talk to me. Well <laughs> we, I make sure he gets a cup of coffee. Wah, wah, all right. wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's good enough if you want to end the scene there. Yeah, I think so. All right. I think you guys. Uh... <laughs> end scene. <laughs> That's when I activate white heat. And... <laughs> end scene. Suddenly come back. <laughs> All right. You, so much? you guys uh, deserve a lowest towards each other, though. <laughs> That was beautiful chemistry, it's true. It was. 
Yeah, I was going to say, is this one of those love turn to hate relationships? No, not yet. Anyway. I don't think you guys are Tituses yet. No. All right. Good scene. Now, as you create that, uh, the next scene is going to be, as I said, kind of a montage. Uh, essentially, anyone who wants to participate in it is going to uh, first raise their encroach. Second, they're going to roll some type of investigational skill. And depending on the role, they will get information, but they also have to specify a certain target. For instance, if they want to uh, investigate Toko, or sorry, Toko, Toka Fujiyama, or Ryoto, uh, Ryoko Ogata, I'm messing up my own guy's names, Kai Yamada, or uh, Takeru Ichigaya, uh, you can roll information check, and you can do as many of those as you want, but of course, the more you do, the more encroach you get, because you have to, you will be rolling encroach each time you try to make an investigation. I'm going to die before we even get there. Great googly moogly. Well. We finally show up to the battle and all our clothes are ripped off and <laughs> we're all turning <laughs> in the journal. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a good time to also to mention that if you have any savings, once you roll your investigational skill, you can spend that savings to directly raise the score. One point per point of savings you spend. Also, if you have any connections, you can use those now. Well, I didn't okay. spend my stock last time, so that should be pretty good right didn't now. Didn't you? Didn't I? You, well, you spent it on the Eugene Battle Armor, didn't you? I did that after the first session. It doesn't reset between sessions. It resets between scenarios, though. Oh, oh, okay. I, well, no, we did the math, and I ended up with three savings. Right, so you have that. Yeah, we have savings, but no stock. Right. That's right and that's right. if you want to procure any items, you can also do that now. Um, if you want, like, extra armor or, like, a badass or weapon or something, you can do that. Can I just have Mia do it all for me? <laughs> she is uh, elite hacker. Yeah, she's my expert, you know, information gathering person who owes me. Well, she would do it for free. It'd still cost you encroach, though. It's probably better than my. Well, what? Well, well I guess she. Well, what, like, uh, info skill would she be? She'd be. Essentially how I would treat it is basically as a, um, I believe there's like an internet one, an internet connection rather? Yeah, there's internet info is one of them. And don't you have like a little bit of that? I have one, like one rank in internet info. And I have a contact or remongering friend. He knows how to use the Google. That's it. All right, well, let me try to find the items listing in my book. He probably uses Yahoo instead. Ooh. Alta Vista. Vista. Ask him. <laughs> Always got to be Alta Vista. It's the official search engine of all these campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> We looked you up on Alta world. Vista. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I will actually treat it as, um, since she owes you one, this basically will be, uh, what I'll do is I'll give you a plus two dice bonus and a plus three score bonus. Well, she owes you more than one now after I saved her again, but yeah. So essentially, if you're going to roll like Info Internet, to, I guess, search for one of those four. Um, you'd roll uh, social info internet, and then you'd add two dice and three to the missed bonuses. Okay. Um, I guess I should do that. Which one should I search for? Up to you. That's the question. What, what do you think, think, team? Well, I think we need to uh, spread out our, silence. our resources. Because we've got what, uh, four targets we need to locate. Mm -hmm. And they also need to locate where they are. 
Yeah, yeah, the awkward thing though is that we is that three of us now have an IC motivation to look for the exact same one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, presumably if we find one, we can find them all if we find their location. Right. So the most important thing for us is to find where these people have been taken. So we need to find out, like, we need to see if anyone has seen them and where they've seen them, basically. How I'm playing this is essentially you, you would look into them specifically to find out information as to who to ask as to where they've been seen, where they've not been seen, stuff like that. So essentially, in my ideal universe, each of you, since there's five of you, Four of you would look for one each of the guy, and then the last person would look for um, where they've actually gone. If that makes sense. All right. All right. So let's let's look at what skills we've got. I've got a data collection team that gives me a plus three score bonus to any check as a connection to any I think info check. And I've got a rumor mongering friend, but I don't have the info rumor skill. I've got Underworld and UGN, and I don't know if UGN is going to be much use here, but Underworld should be. I also info have for... Underworld. <laughs> I have info for UGN and a leadership contact. And I actually have the means to surf the internet pretty well. I have a combination of everything you all just said. <laughs> He was also knowledgeable about China for some reason. <laughs> She's not Japanese at all. <laughs> Shun. <gasps> okay, so... I don't know. Are, are we working on the assumption here that False Hearts is working through the Underworld? Or do we know that they use Underworld? They pretty much are the Underworld. Them? All right, so... How many of us have Underworld again? Like most of you. <laughs> yeah. I know. I have it. Uh, I, don't... I got it. Three Ka of us have it. So three of us have Kazi Underworld. Because he is a normie, he wouldn't know about the Underworld. Okay. So that's three of us that can potentially be looking for their base. I think think with the plus three I can get with my research team, it might be best if I go for that one, because it seems like it'll be the hardest. If you guys want to work the missing person's angles. Okay. I want to find that girl. <laughs> I bet he does. Do you want to look into more information about her? If it would be useful to us, maybe. Yeah, we'll Although, see. don't we have like a dossier on her? It's very basic system? information. Hmm. Basically, if you were to look into her, it would give more information and would let you be able to search potentially for where she is now. Yeah, you need to infiltrate her circle of friends. Follow them or ever her bullies. I'm going to dress up as a schoolgirl. And go to her school. <laughs> so, Jared, you and uh, what's your face could like hack into whatever the equivalent of Facebook is, like their profiles or something. See what you can find there. No, they got to hack into the mainframe. They got to hack the Gibson. Hack the Gibson. The Gibson. Hack the planet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They'll both go be on planet. the same keyboard for even better hacking. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows that works. I'm pretty sure Mia doesn't use a keyboard. <laughs> she didn't have to. She just looks at her phone and all of a sudden it's like hacking every Gibson. Everyone. <laughs> she has a keyboard tramp stamp. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that would actually That's be not pretty even cool. sure what. I mean, of all what the things you get a tramp stamp of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving right along. Fumi Hero. <laughs> why don't you, uh, since you're looking into Toka specifically, why don't you go ahead and give me uh, whatever info skill you care to get, give me. Wait, what's that mean? Also get Encroach. Oh, yeah, also roll your Encroach. 
Is this me? Yes. Yep. Oh, I'm doing something. Okay. Mm. Whatever, you're still in baby I'm in the forties. Baby and crouch. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna roll my info underworld skill. That's not gonna yep. find a girl, is it? You can I just gotta, roll social. I gotta I gotta go to like a website and find a girl. <laughs> um mm. dot the... com? <laughs> well maybe later, but for now just roll <laughs> the just roll the underworld. Sure. Anything in particular I'm rolling with here? Uh, just just uh, your underworld skill. Okay. Well, that's actually a really good roll. Go me. Essentially, um. Well, the underworld wouldn't have a lot of information about a like a girl that you know goes to high school and isn't part of the underworld herself. However, you do manage to get lucky and find that. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> through some rather circuitous, circuitous uh, connections, there's like kids at her school who are heavily into the dope scene and not the cool scene. I mean, the other kind of dope, the bad dope. Um, and through them, their suppliers actually like kind of know th th what's going on because, well, she gets bullied a lot. So she like shows up at these drug deals, even though she doesn't want to be there. And they either like make her buy it or potentially do worse things. But in any case, you learn about her a little bit and that her whole life is terrible. Um, essentially, her dad ran out on her mom. Her mom's an alcoholic, but like treats it as though she's not like outside the house she's normal but inside the house not so much so this girl goes from like this cold home to like this coldly hostile um school that bullies her constantly and she's basically pretty terrible or well in a terrible situation Sumihara learns all of this and shrugs <laughs> Aww. what a cold guy does um, it have any kind of information as to when the next drug deal may be happening? Well, no, not the one that she uh, she'd be at. Mostly because um, the contact you're talking to, like the the guy who the seller, uh, says she hasn't showed up in a couple of days. Whoa! Feedback. Whoa! Someone's leaning on their mic button. <laughs> Is the feedback still happening? I don't hear anything. No. Here. You're good. You're good. One <laughs> thing, one thing the connection did since you rolled really high, uh, did see was that, um, you know, one one time he thought he saw someone like shadowing the girl, like this really creepy older good dude in like a lab coat and t-shirt and jeans. Didn't know what that was about, but. Um, Apparently they were shacking up. That's nasty. Yeah. Some hero learns this and vomits a little in his mouth. <laughs> then he gags it back and shrugs. He makes a mental note to buy a lab coat. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Hey, that's terrible. I control my own domain. Uh, but okay, so that's some information for him to bring back to his his new teammates, apparently. Indeed. Who's next? Don't all go at once. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go next. What should I be looking for? Well, first roll your encroach. Oh. There's no getting away from it. Phew! And uh, as I said, you can make any sort of check um, with a plus two dice bonus and a plus three score bonus. Right. 
what do we want me to be looking into? Uh, probably one of the other kidnappees. So if uh, Fumihiro is dealing with the school age girl, I s you have three other options. All right. Who else was there? There was the uh, office lady, the yakuza guy, and the salary man. Uh, let's go with the salary man. All right. So I'm getting what a two dice bonus. Yep, two dice bonus and a three score bonus. Is that just miss bonus? Yeah, miss bonus. Okay. <laughs> Ten's still good. Yeah. Still feels like, man, with all those extra dice and the flat bonus, I'm like, this should have been better than that. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, since Mia is helping you, she's like, she pulls up like every forum post that that guy has ever made or will make somehow. Um, but basically, like, he, she actually gets into his computer, but that's how good she is. And is able to root around on stuff. And, well, she finds that it's oddly empty. Even his work computer, like, just has, like, work files. He doesn't really seem to do anything other than work and live. And I mean that in the most basic sense. So he doesn't live, like, a secret second life online in the MMO second life? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, from everything she can tell, he has absolutely no social life. Uh, she actually hacks around like some other workers uh, emails and stuff like that to see what they think about him and apparently he's um, they do actually like talk about him behind his back because of course they do um, a lot of the comments is that he ignores them and he doesn't talk very much like they'll say he's a nice guy like you know that in that way that people do where they said oh he's, he's a good guy but god I just wish that X Y th Z thing and apparently his is that he never, like, goes to the parties, like, you know, and drinks with them. He never does anything. And one guy even mentions that um, he he actually visited the guy at his house once, and there was, like, nothing in the house. No pictures, no nothing. So he's a sociopath. Sort of, but they say that this only happened pretty much after the death of his wife and child. Which, apparently, they died in a car accident, uh, like, two years ago. He must have broken bad. <laughs> mm. Mm. Topical humor. I don't understand that reference. <laughs> <laughs> or if we're going with the new Latin American remake, he must have metastasized. Oh. The Latin American <laughs> remake of Breaking Bad is called Metastasis. Huh. And it exists, and the main character is named Walter Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The more you know. All right. So... There's one final bit since you rolled that high. Um, as far as the work workers know, he hasn't left his house in like the past like day or two. Like the, he didn't even show up for work. Didn't call in or anything, and just didn't show up. Uh huh. And his company didn't have this guy on like suicide watch or anything either, right? Nope. Suicide watch. This is Japan. <laughs> yeah. Suicide watch is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. He's not asleep in his office. This is terrible. All right, that's all you learned, though. Alrighty. This doesn't seem overly useful. Hmm. But you never of a puzzle. know. They are. Alright, next up, who? You? Who? I'll go. Who? I'll go. Who? Okay. I'll try and track down our Yakuza friend. Okay. Using a. Uh, my underworld, I guess. Does that seem yep. like the obvious choice? That does seem like the obvious uh, skill, yeah. Let oh. me roll my encroach first. Yes, you encroach as well. Phew. <laughs> Using.
<laughs> this probably won't go too well, though. We'll see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. Do you have any savings? No. Not at all, huh? Nope. I forgot well, my social skill is negative one. <laughs> uh, you managed to find your way towards some scary looking gentlemen with uh, tattoos on their arms and they just scowl at you until you wander off and you get nothing. <laughs> oh, you get she, nothing. <laughs> she blanks out and starts stabbing him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not really that good at gathering information. I keep killing everybody. <laughs> I, I don't like, know where all this oh blood God. came from. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop wearing white clothes everywhere. All right, <laughs> Kasumi, you can worry. I'll uh, go last once all the other information is in, so that I can put it up on a cork board. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this is the future. you have like the haptic gloves, and you like move your hands in front of a uh, AR display. No, no, he's old school. He has a big crazy room with, like, <laughs> lines of yarn going across the middle of it and pictures <laughs> hanging off of it. Yeah, Yukinori doesn't know how to use a computer. That's... <laughs> that's he's true. over 30. <laughs> Actually, that's probably, that's probably why you failed, because there was no computer to touch and gather all the information instantly. Aww. Aww. But isn't the human brain really just a computer? No. Not in this setting. Oh, okay. It is a mysterious organ. All right, Kasumi. Okay, so... Roll your encroach. I encroach. If only one of us was an exile, they could just, like, eat the person like they're Alex Mercer and know everything. <laughs> Absorb all of their knowledge. All right, we had... The Yakuza covered. Fumihiro is going after the schoolgirl. Um, You've got the office you know, lady. Oh, well. salary, okay, the office lady's taken care of, so it's the salary man? No, no. 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 The you, get, you have the office oh. lady. Okay. Just shift your form into another office lady and go gossip or something. I can't do that, though. She's not an exile. She's a yeah. chimera. Shift your form into a monster and go gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me about the local gossip? They just totally Did you take see it in stride. what she was wearing? <laughs> that was so last season. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers, um. I have it on DVR. <laughs> oh, um... Uh, maybe I can talk to my UGN contact and get... Inf well, I know where she lives. I could probably just go there and uh, spy around a little bit. Sure. Do, do you want to go where she lives? Yeah. Okay. As soon as you show up, you notice that the cops are all over it. Uh-oh. They're mortal. <laughs> just use uh, warning and walk inside. Yeah, that's a good point. 